here today is Rico, your 25-year-old professional computer programmer or yeah. coder. Um, what got you interested in coding? Did you study it in school, like middle school or high school, back when you were younger? Uh, no, I actually, there were opportunities for classes such as that, but uh, I kind of thought of that as the nerdy kids would go to those classes, so uh, I chose not to be among them. And then uh, when I got to college, they really presented it as this is a different type of math. You can study math, you can study physics, you can study computer science, they're all in the same vein, same type of, uh, same portions of the mind that you're using, and so if you're comfortable with one of them, you could look to the others. And so then when presented with that choice, it seemed to be the most direct uh, field of study to employment, as opposed to studying applied mathematics or something a little more abstract that kind of leads to grad school. Okay, so uh, you sounds like you were pretty good at math, and you know what other things in your younger life kind of steered you towards, uh, you know, a, a tendency to be good at coding. Uh, you know. Right. Yeah, I would say mathematics definitely is a huge portion of it. It is. Uh, Similar to math, certainly not the same. You, know, you're, you're, you never have to use a calculator or anything like that, but um, it definitely works off the same sort of principles of logic and uh, reason. And I also feel that there was just uh, a broader curiosity there, that if you're fascinated by how things work, computer science is very enlightening because it gets into how literally everything works, from a camera to a cell phone to a car everything has a computer in it, whether or not you actually realize it. So understanding sort of what's going on on the back end makes the world much more intriguing in that way. And you were a pretty avid chess player when you were younger too. I... Yep. That probably contributed as well. I mean, I think that might be more uh, distant than the mathematics necessarily as far as just... Um, yeah, it works off the same parts of the brain, same logic sort of uh, facilities, but also um, I, I feel like that's more working out a muscle, you know, working out your arm to throw a ball faster. You know, it's not that when you're working out you're actually getting better at throwing, but it sort of builds up the uh, skill set around it. Okay. So what's involved in getting a college degree in computer science? What kinds of classes did you take? What were some of the projects you did and topics you studied? Right, so um, to start off, at least in uh, the program I was in, they started with, hey, here's a very simple uh, graphic interface. You know, you can draw circles on a screen and you can make them move around. You know, just very basic stuff and sort of built from there up to we could make video games. You know, you could make a Pong game, you could make Pac-Man. Nothing really beyond that, but that sort of gets the interest going. And then uh, once they got you hooked, then they'll start showing you... Uh, oh, look at this, this is how the computer talks on the low level with all the numbers and the scary things. But even that uh, wasn't particularly intimidating, and uh, it certainly led to some interesting things. You know, you could uh, make projects such as AI checkers players, or uh, I made an analysis tool that figured out which wide receivers from college would get drafted into the NFL and ranked them by order. So some stuff like that, once you get to the sort of higher level uh, intriguing items, there's a lot of very interesting things you can do and very powerful tools you can make. Nice. Uh, how would you describe your job? In just a few sentences to somebody who knows nothing about computer programming or coding, like what would you say in you know a, a paragraph what you do? Right. Uh, I would say pr primarily data management and movement. So uh, Basically, I'm making sure that everything that happens on uh, the website that I build and maintain gets stored somewhere and that the person who needs to know about that can pull it back and see useful information. So we could see, you know, how many people are trying to do this certain action on a given day, how frequently do people use our pages, um, how much money is the company making, you know, anything from all of those places, just making sure that it all gets into one place and it's uh, reflected in an easy to understand way. Okay, and what do you do at your job most days? I know during the pandemic you've been able to work remotely from your house and, and even from other places, but what, what's a typical day look like for you? Yeah, so a typical day for me would generally be, um, you know, clock in in the morning and I'll check my email because oftentimes, um, you know, once you've built a lot of code into a system, the chances of something you've built breaking becomes higher and higher. Just the more volume that you're 
expertise is spread out over, the more chance that one of those things is wrong. So um, first of all, check for any bugs, any high priority fixes. If something's broken that's stopping someone else from doing their job, obviously my job becomes to work on that right away. Um, then generally after that, once I've resolved whatever, you know, it's usually only one or two things, uh, sometimes none. But once I've resolved whatever those are, then I'll look to what is the next big project. And uh, these will be assigned either from my boss or sometimes I'll just come across something through uh, coding on one piece or the other where it's like, oh wow, this should really be cleaned up. This will cause a problem down the line. And that's a lot of what it is, is trying to predict what things are going to break in the future or what sort of... Um, what sort of qualities you will need to make sure that it'll always work because computers will do exactly what you tell them to do uh, to a fault.